How is it going to advise Joey64 here with part 3, I believe, of Knuckles Mania? How's it going, everybody? Welcome, welcome, welcome to another beautiful Monday. Alright, um, today we are here at Quest Garden Zone. Yeah, that's basically it. Nothing too crazy. Yep, I just noticed this. I know I'm probably a little bit late to the party, but like right here. I just wish like this box is in like the background to hold up like the boxes you got you walk on. Well like even over here though there's part of the foreground. I just realized that. I don't know, like I've I know I don't know, I guess I've always seen them, but like I've never actually noticed that they were there. I don't know. Anyhow, um I guess thoughts in this level. I would say out of all the original zones is actually my least favorite, <laughs> to be perfectly honest. I don't think it's bad. I don't think any of the stages in this game are just outright bad. I can say that much. But I would say this is probably one of my more of these favorite stages. I don't know. I just feel like this one, I don't really feel like I'm doing anything. That makes sense. I feel like. I don't know. I feel like there's a lot of times this level, like, I want to, like, go somewhere and I feel like I just can't go where I want to go. You know, if that, does that make sense? A lot of times I was sitting there, I'm like, oh, well, I want to go over there. Well, I feel like I should be able to go over there without opening it, but I can't. Well, that was a bit more of a weaker example, but those better examples, which hopefully we'll see as we go through the level today. And, um, Act 2, which we'll eventually get to, but, um, Act 2 is very short to me. I don't like how short Act 2 is. To me, Act 2 is way too short. It's beautiful, but I want there to be more than what there actually is of it. That's my problem with it. Which, I guess, is a good problem to have, but still, makes me... You know, I want more, you know, I have that des natural desire of wanting more of that level. It kind of reminds me of Mirage Saloon, um, is it Act 2? Act 2, where that, the same way with that one, it's, um, it's very short, it's a very, very short level. Or Act, whatever you want to call it. Ugh, but, yeah. I don't like spots like this, you know, you climb up here, and this, oh, alright, wait, I didn't trigger the thing, actually. If you go down here, we trigger the compact door. Okay, you know, we're gonna get squished. Let's not get squished. You see, the box is getting squished. I feel like I should really go up here, and there's something up here. Okay, maybe I should take back my opinions. <laughs> Seems like that tree is stuff up here. Huh. Uh, I guess I was in the wrong. I don't know. I guess I was wrong on that one. <laughs> uh, anyhow, um, since we are playing this Knuckles, something I want to talk about in today's video was some um, Sonic fighting games. It's been two. I was gonna say it's been a couple. It's been literally a couple. I don't know. I well, okay. I'm bringing this up because there's a Sonic fan game that's recently came out, or I had a big update. Something. It's called Sonic Smackdown. I just found out about it, like, I literally, I saw someone, I, I got a notification on YouTube about it from um, someone I'm subscribed to, obviously, and I did you know, I, you can't see the, can I really, there we go, okay, <laughs> we need to break out Super Knuckles, can he still not, tell me Super, how is he not, wow, I pulled him out just so we can get up here. There we go. We climbed so fast. Um. Anyhow, though, yeah, I thought it was actually like Sega just announced the new, like a new Sonic game. I was like, oh my gosh, they just announced a new Sonic game. The fuck? Cause it, the the um they had a title screen as a thumbnail, and it looks so convincing. Which is just, that's that's a pro. It's not a negative. Like I wish Sega was making a new um Sonic fighting game. I'll be down for it, but just cause he has such a big cast of characters. For the potential for that, it's very big. But that's just my personal opinion. Especially now with how many characters we have, which back in the last Sonic Final game we have B and uh. What do you call it? I always forget the name of the second one. The Sonic Fighters. Sonic the Fighters. Which is the one that was like in arcades and all that. Sonic Battle, GBA, Game Boy Advance, um, Sonic, um, yeah, Battle, that one, well, I feel like it came out, like, right before we got, like, like, you know, we didn't have, like, Blaze yet, we didn't have, um, 
like killed just like silver or, or you know we're just with some characters. I feel like what if we got a modern day Sonic fighting game, classic Sonic would be in there. Y'all know it would be in there. I think it, I uh, for, honestly I think that would actually be a fine excuse to put classic Sonic in a modern Sonic game though. I won't lie, I wouldn't mind that as much as like when he was in forces. Just because you know, I don't, you know, it it, A, it's more characters, and B, I can see him control similar to Mario and Sonic, but, you know, have a bit more of his classic moves, so, you know, maybe have, like, the shields of part of his, um, moveset or whatever. But, um, going to Sonic Smackdown, it was, it was like a full-on, like, uh, Street Fighter game, in a way, kind of like, like, actual fighter, not a, like, Smash Bros. fighter. That's what a lot of people consider to be, like, a, your standard, typical fighter, I guess, a good way to put it. But, yeah, and it looked really cool, the, it was a 3D, like, they all had models and all that, and it was very impressive. I gotta give the team who made that big old pat on the back. They did an excellent job on that. I cannot implore them enough how well that game would look. Look, like, just, just the fact that I thought it was a new Sonic game, when I first saw it, before I actually, like, read the title properly and all that, like, that speaks miles right there alone. In my opinion, at least. There's the sign. Oh, we got a little thingy. Hit it. Yeah. Awesome. Um, I've never played Sonic Battle. Speaking about this, the actual Sonic, um, fighting games that we do have. Um, Sonic Battle I've never played. That's one I've never, I would like to pick up one day, but I haven't. Um... And along with that, I haven't really played a lot of the advanced games either. I've played advanced two, I believe, and that's basically that's pretty much it. Yeah, I played advanced two. I think I own one of the other advanced as well, but I haven't really played too much of it. And even like advanced two, I don't think I would beat it either. I know advanced. I don't know where I got Sonic Advance two from, but I've had that for a long time. Now um, advanced, but yeah, like advanced one, I couldn't tell you. Ooh, okay. So this has been patched out, but right here where this little bomb board was, about right where that bomb is on the top of, but right there, I don't know if I hit it, okay, yeah, but right here, there's a glitch, which I can't really show off, but I went into a day one and Knuckles, he was just stuck there. He was literally just stuck there. Uh, I don't, what's this? The Nintendo's always had a show about the Switch has, haven't they? I believe they have, I can't. We'll be right back. All right, this is this is what happened. It was right there. I could move left and right, but Knuckles just would not move. Oh, this random screen I took. <laughs> but yeah, he just refused to move. All righty, back to the gameplay. All right, let's get right back into um, the level. I hope you all enjoy seeing those images. I remember one into. I think I went into that the first day I played the game, and I think I around well, then is when I decided like, yep, I think it's about time to put the put it down for the night. Uh, I remember that. Uh, trying to look. That also reminds me because I don't. It's 2017 is a big year for gaming, just in general. Oh, that was it. We got you know we got the switch and you got like that. Okay, but it's on some. We know we got Mania and Forces. Oh, this is a big year for Sonic. It was a pretty big year actually. I think we got season two of Sonic Boom this year as that year as well. And um, but then we also got like stuff like. Buffalo of the Wild and all that, like all the big Nintendo stuff that happened that year, but then we had like Mario Odyssey, Mania Odyssey, and Force is all practically back to back. I remember that, that was so awesome. I remember um, when, the, I don't remember, when I played Force, I'll be honest, I don't remember what, how far I played the game when I first got it, but I do remember with Mania, I'm not Mania, um, Odyssey and if you saw my Super Mario Odyssey playthrough, <clears throat> um, you would know that um, I may have brought this up then, but I don't remember. It. But in, like I said, in my Odyssey playthrough, I uh, but my initial Odyssey playthrough back when the game first came out, I remember I went all the way up to Luncheon Kingdom, and once I got the Luncheon Kingdom, that's when I stopped. I remember that. I still remember that night when I first got Odyssey. I think I remember a day or two later being, um... Cause, uh, was it, um... My, uh... 
mom, she, you know, asked me because she knew about the new game. She was like, oh, have you played? I was like, yeah. So she was like, oh, how's it been? I'm like, yeah, it's been pretty good. I'm like, I just beat it. And it was like, oh, the game like, just came out. It was back when Odyssey first came out. She's like, what? I'm like, yeah, I just beat it. <laughs> like, uh, that was fun. I remember, I remember that phone call. Uh, oh, stupid heavy shinobi. Um, well, speaking of heavy shinobi, enter he heavy shinobi, everybody. The only time you can attack him is when he's in the air, and that's where you can then bop him, like so. He will throw his little sh star use shortkins. You gotta be careful of those. They will shoot out little needle thingies. I'm gonna crouch your edge because I don't have any wings left. Oh, he even got hit. <laughs> but, um, yeah, he's pretty simple. Obviously, he's based off of the Shinobi character by, I believe, Sega Make Shinobi. Correct me if I'm wrong. I could very well be wrong. Uh, that's gonna explode right there. There we go. But yeah, he's pretty, he's a pretty simple boss. I remember, I actually do, going back to when I first played this game, I do remember having trouble with him when I, um, first, well, at least when I first got the game. But if you do try to attack him, he won't actually throw the stars. There will never be more than two stars on the screen at once, I believe. Again, correct me if I'm wrong. And we are quite the pickle. <laughs> Uh, Heavy Shinobi, why do you do this to Knuckles? Poor Knuckles. He doesn't even have his pal today. Yeah, I don't know what happened to the Ann Knuckles. Um, he's just not here today. <laughs> Maybe I can figure out how to get him back. Also, um, when you while you're in the ice, you're actually protected from the Staryu thingies. Okay, I'm not trying to lose- because I keep losing my wing into those, uh, Logs. Can I climb on these? No, I can't. But yeah, they keep my wings keep going through those logs. That's not good. Oh yeah, now we're near the end of his little fight. Where now he'll be shooting out three of these bad boys. This is where this boss fight gets hard, in my opinion. I'm trying to get through him when he has three little things. There we go. Awesome, and there goes Heavy Shinobi, never to be seen again, until Sonic Mania Plus. Whoa! <laughs> uh, awesome, that's another zone done. What is next, a little planet? I believe it's a little planet. We'll continue what we'll be doing so far, we'll keep doing two zones. The last part was a little long, so we'll hope this one, it's a little planet. It's a, uh, what do you call it? Stardust Speedway. Da da ba 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 na na. Oh, I love. I love Stardust Speedway. It will, I actually don't remember it too much when I actually I played through Sonic CD. I don't remember it too much when I actually played through Sonic CD proper. But actually, um, like pl this is like the the level like in the Mania. I love. I think it's the music. The music I even remember it. It's where you meet Metal Sonic's where. You know, Metal Sonic's fan favorite character. If y'all know anything about me and Metal Sonic, Metal Sonic is my favorite Sonic character. It's a shame he hasn't gotten a big star villain role since Heroes. Has it been that? Yeah, it's been that long since Heroes, sadly. And I don't think I've never really talked about Sonic Heroes that much on the channel. Um, I'll be honest, I'm not the biggest fan. I don't think it's a bad game, but I'm definitely not the biggest fan of it. Um, yeah, I can see that much. To me, I feel like, I don't know, I, I'll i probably have my eventual Sonic Heroes playthrough and we'll have more of my thoughts then, but it's been a long since I've actually played <laughs> Sonic Heroes, but I can definitely see if Heroes might, it's just, like I said, it's not a bad game, but it's definitely flawed. I have a similar opinion to most people. It's like, the fa A, the fact you have to go f through four different stories, basically play the game four different times just to beat it is a little ridiculous. Um, to get in the Chaos Emeralds is frustrating. It's just a couple of things. Now, eventually I would like to play, I do plan to do 
each uh, main, at least each mainline Sonic game, along with probably some of the spin-offs. Here on the channel eventually. Also, we're only, what, we're two years in, and how many Sonic playthroughs have I done? A, more, a little more, about a year and a month in to my channel's life. How long have we been, how many Sonic? We have, we did Mania, we did Generations, and then now uh, Black Knight, and then we have this. So not too many what that's for. Oh, I guess if you want to count Mania Plus, yeah, so we still have a lot on the to-do to, on the to -do list. Especially if seeing a majority of those have been the short or mainline Sonic games, we still got, like, Unleash. That's going to be a big playthrough. Not that one, I don't even, I haven't even thought about doing a playthrough of Unleash yet, I'll be honest. I do want to do a playthrough of Unleash. So I'm one of those where people actually like Unleash. Surprise, surprise. Oh, I'm going to do Fight Metal Sonic yet. I won't lie, I was actually expecting to fight Metal Sonic. <laughs> I'd be lying if I said I wasn't. Uh, so these are just the little bug dudes. And I just jumped straight into their beam. Uh, but yeah, this is just the little bug boss. And he's pretty simple. There'll be one tiny one, squash him. There'll be two that do the little like jump rope looking laser beam. Hit them to stop the little laser beam. The big boy will come. Hit him eight times as always, and he is out of here. And now we can move on to the next act. So you saw the speedway is pretty short. Like there's actually a lot to explore. Um, I've been doing alongside this playthrough. I've been doing another playthrough where I'll do a couple of levels in advance. Just to, you know, make sure I like kind of know where I want to go and do how I want to do everything. For when actually record, it's just a bit smoother for y'all. It's not me fumbling around. But in that playthrough, I've been doing alongside this one on my own. I've actually been um, what do you call it? Uh, I like explore the entirety of like that last zone because there's a lot to explore there. This one, this um, saw the saw the Speedway Act two not as much. But there was still a lot to look around here. This one is a lot more, has all like different cannons and all that everywhere. Which are really fun. I really like the second one. The aesthetic, the aesthetic of Act 2 here is outstanding. I love these aesthetics right here we're looking at. It's just, it's great man, it's great. <laughs> it's great. Mm. Speaking of Sonic CD. I, um, the other day, I finally nabbed myself. Oh wow, that was kind of cool. I don't think I ever went into that web thing before. Um, anyway, so the other day I actually nabbed myself a physical copy of Sonic CD. N nothing else to it. <laughs> I'll be honest, that's it. But um, yeah, I finally nabbed myself a copy of Sonic CD, which I am very happy about. A physical copy, I mean, obviously. I ha I've had a digital copy before, but I've never had a physical. So that's one more Sonic game that I know physically. That was actually the last mainline game I needed. I have from um, one all the way to four just now. Physical copy if there is one of every mainline game. Including Shadow, I know it's kind of isn't mainline, isn't not. I consider it mainline since it's a part of like the overarching story that they kinda had for a while in the game. So I count it as a mainline game. Technically I believe it's a spin-off though. But yeah, however you believe, whatever you believe Shadow the Hedgehog should be, I have a physical copy of it. I have not played it yet, though. That is on my to-do list, most definitely. That's a game I'm going to play someday soon. Uh, who knows, maybe I'll do it on the live stream. Maybe we'll do it on the live stream. That'll be fun. Speaking of live stream, today this recording, I actually need, I got, um, a live stream tomorrow, actually. I had, I'll be on, I'll be honest, nine times out of ten, I don't know why I'm gonna be live streaming in advance. A lot of times I just kind of look at my game shelf, and I'm like, huh, I feel like playing X game. You know, I won't lie. That's honestly how I am almost every time I do a live stream. <laughs> um, I love to be like, like the Mario Galaxy one. I knew that was gonna be like a series and all that, so I knew what was coming up with that. Like, okay. You know, today's gonna be part like, you know, part like five or six, seven, eight, nine, ten of whatever of galaxy and such. Um, I do actually know what the next series will be, so 
Yeah, I'm probably going to actually, I think I'm going to do it a bit more differently. I'm going to do it a bit differently from, uh... What do you call it? The one we just said. Gosh dang it, Mario Galaxy, but I'm I was literally just talking about it. But I'm going to do it a bit differently from, um... Galaxy, because... Oof, Galaxy? I didn't, it wasn't too bad, but I had a slight bit of worn out, kind of near the tail end, which I'm pretty sure I bought up as well, doing that playthrough, but I did get a bit of worn out by the end, just because it was just doing Galaxy. It's like, unlike when I, at least when I record a playthrough, it's just, okay, I do part one, and I record like all, the whole game all together, you know, and then I would call, oh gosh, please move. And then I would call the whole next part of the game, you know? And then, you know, I would call the entire game typically at the longest a month. Ooh, that, ooh, that still counts, he's dead though! Ah, that sucks. I was like, oh, I, I, I was thinking, I like to kill him real quick. Uh, why can't I hit you a bot, man? Why can't I just go through you? But, um... <laughs> Uh, dang, that sucks. That doesn't count. That doesn't count. That doesn't count. Gosh, dang it. So what happens when we don't have any knuckles with us, guys? Oh, I did not want to go that way. <laughs> uh, but I completely lost my train of thought. Oh, uh, well, cool. well, that was like, okay, I'm doing a small part of a game once a day. And to me, oh, once a week. And to me, that was just very, just like, meh, you know, does that make sense? I was just getting very, like, oh, yeah, it's like, you know, for, for me, it was literally over the time span of about two months, because I took a one-week break during that. Um, it was over the time span of two months, I was just doing Mario Galaxy, roughly two months. And so I guess for me, that by the end of it, I was kind of a little, like, okay. About time to end it, so, but this next one is definitely not going to be as uh, bad, I would say. I'm going to make sure. So, A, give y'all variety, and B, give me variety, because I don't give y'all variety just because, you know, I should. You know, that's what a good content creator does. It's also for my sake, because <laughs> I don't think I could actually sit there for, you know, just. Like, as much as I love Sonic, I don't see myself doing something like endless Sonic back to back to back to back to back to back. Although it just seems like that <laughs> at times on my channel. See, you know, we went from Black Knight to this, but. No, I can tell this is more of a celebration. I jumped. Okay, fine, I didn't jump. I'm. J Why is my doing so. I've never done this bad as possible before. But yeah, that's, um. Yeah, that's basic gist. Well, I guess by the time of this recording, um, this the time of this upload date, um, it will be Hyrule Warriors. Hyrule Warriors is what I'm doing for my next livestream series, which the first part of that will be out. I'm very excited to do that game. That is a game I love. So, don't hit the bomb. Get that wing. Ooh. Dead, 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 yes! Oh my gosh. Give me that. Give me, give me, give me. Oh, little butt. <laughs> uh, that's gonna do it for today's episode, everybody. Um, uh, if you haven't already, go check out the Hyrule Warriors livestream that sh was last Wednesday, at, at least when this being uploaded. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time in part four of Sonic Mania. Bye! Yeah, let's see animals out for us though, I guess. I guess I could have hit that. <laughs> uh.